Hello everyone, today I'm going to bring you the fifth video of my new featured video section. These videos contain Pokemon Wi-Fi battles of people other than myself. Most of these people are new, underrated or unknown YouTubers that deserve to be in the spotlights as well. This project is actually a shout out to other channels on my personal channel. I do this because I know how hard it was for me to begin from zero subscribers and I'd like to give these people a push in the back. These featured channels videos will be uploaded on Tuesday, maybe Thursday, it depends on when I get these videos sent over. Now this video contains material of the Etika World Network. This is a network that has been built out by yeah, the guy who is narrating this video. As you will see in the video, he always displays his face and um, puts the battle in one of the corners. And that is really great because that way you can watch his face, watch the expression, why he does certain moves. And yeah, you can really see how much he likes the game when narrating the Wi-Fi battle. Besides Pokemon Wi-Fi battles, he also does a lot of other interesting stuff, but I'm not going to talk about that very much. If you'd like to see what he's up to, then yeah, you can definitely check out his channel. I have had, I have been in contact with this person and it's a very, very nice guy. I must say that I'm a big fan of his channel. I watch all of his battles because he has a special way of using lower tiered Pokemon in a competitive way. And that is something I'm really fond of. So if you get a chance, um, be sure to check him out and give him a subscription. He really deserves it. That is all I ask of you. Now, um, if you check him out, that would be great because only this way we can expand the Pokemon community and bring in a lot of new players. Now, maybe I'll have a collaboration with this guy in the future. We're still discussing it. But yeah, that's off topic. Now, let's continue to the battle, shall we? Hello and welcome to the Etika World Network, or at least I would be saying that, but I'm um, actually, this is not for the Etika World Network. This is Bialzard 1's channel, however I'm doing a collaboration thing with him. Um, he is a really nice guy who I met on the Smallville and Wi-Fi Finder and he gave me an offer to help ex increase my exposure and such. So um, he's a really, really nice guy and I really am thankful for that. So um, Bialzard, once again, thanks a lot, dude. I really appreciate it. But anyways, um, I'm Etika and I do Pokemon battles and I do a lot of other things too, like um, product reviews and music videos and, um, and I do current events as well, news articles and stuff. So I mean, I, I tend to try to take pride in my channel being really rounded but um the most that, that I do really is Pokemon battles so I want to make sure that I have a lot of battles out so um if you do like this battle that by all hosted please come on by by my channel and um give it a ring or, um, I hope you like it or anything like that but regardless um let me let you guys see what my battling progress is like and so today I have a battle against someone who was named SCP-99 and um it was a really interesting battle just for the fact that um it got really 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 close really close and this one was just a it was a beautiful battle, but anyways, so I'm um, starting the battle off. Um, well, SCP 900, SCP 99. Yeah, I start off with Gyarados, and um, he goes into his Snorlax. And at this point, I know Snorlax like to set up. I've had a lot of bad like memories with Snorlax setting up with like stockpile and stuff. So I go for a taunt here, just to make sure that there's no like you know creepy shit that Snorlax likes to do. He was gonna hit me with a toxic, so it's a good thing that I taunted him. I go for the Thunder Wave right after. I mean, even though it makes no difference on Snorlax, but I mean, hey, extra hacks chance, why the fuck not? Anyways, he goes for a Body Slam and he does the exact same thing to me, so now um, I feel like the game really screwed me in this regard because it's like, oh, okay, so you want all of us to get paralyzed now, right? Whatever. I go for the Roar and um, I send his Snorlax out and then his Latias comes in. Now, at this point, I'm not sure if he knows how tough my Latias is, so um, I just say whatever. And he goes for the Dragon Pulse. But I have special defense EVs, so it's not going to do that much. And I go for the Thunder Wave on Latias as well, just to slow it down. So this way, a threat who's slow but powerful can come in and then finish him off. So now, um, at this point, I'm not sure what I can do here. Because um, Latias, apparently he's staying in. He wants to be in there. And yet, there's nothing I can really do against this guy. So um, the most I can think of right now is just to get like a Roar on the, on the um, Latias. Send the Latias out and bring in a different Pokemon to Thunder Wave, but he might just switch out back into Snorlax or Latias, so that's where the, the trouble is, you know? Whatever the case may be, he goes in for his Scizor, who was not that bad of a switch-in for me either, 
However, I know I don't want to risk like him killing my Gyarados because I feel Gyarados can still be useful in the match. So I go into my um, Embor because I know I can quad resist almost any of his moves. So he goes for the x and even though it's powered by the um, Bug Gem, it does literally nothing to me. Nothing at all. But So anyways, um, at this point I say let's go for the Flare Blitz or not. I go for the Head Smash just to be able to hit anything that might want to resist the Flare Blitz coming in. Like, the Kaledio resist head smash, and it's not stabbed, yet it still did a massive truck ton of damage to this thing. Now, I'm thinking he's going to switch Kaledio out, or maybe go for a substitute, expecting me to switch out. But, um, nope. He goes straight for the Surf, and that totally decapitates my, um, Embor. So, sadly, Embor had to go, who was kindly known as Yafka Pig by my awesome girlfriend. Anyways, I go into my Superior, and, um, he switches his Kaledio out, because I guess he doesn't want to take the Leaf Storm, and he goes into his, um, Hydradagon. And... The Leaf Storm comes in, of course, because I didn't want to really pull any punches. I wanted to make sure I hit this thing. And so, in order to test this, what test out what this Hydreigon is, I stay in and go for the Glare, but he goes for the Fire Blast first, so I know for a fact now this Hydreigon is Scarfed. And so, knowing that, I'm able to play accordingly. So, um, even though I hate sacrificing Pokemon, sadly, Superior had to go, but you die for a noble cause. So now I go into my Rhydon, and um, I guess he switches, thinking that, you know, a threat will come, and pretty good call on his part. I go for the Mega Horn, and he goes for the Brick Break. I guess everyone thinks that Rhydon can fall to fighting and ground moves, but nope. I go straight for the Fire Punch, right into the Scizor's face, burns a hole deep in its asshole, just deep, like, mm, and it's over. So, um, <laughs> regardless, that was a really good move on my part, just for the fact that I didn't know that that Fire Punch would one-hit KO Scizor or not, because it has really good defenses, but luckily I'm able to get that. So, I go into my Gyarados now, to be able to slow down this Kaledio because I don't want to like get KO'd because I know the Surf from Kaledio will do a lot of damage because its special attack is really high so I attempt to like sponge the hit with Gyarados and I thought even after Leftover's recovery I'd be able to live another Surf but he goes for the Surf again and I guess he gets maximum damage on this one takes Gyarados out of here so that's another Pokemon that had to go down but um the sad thing is that I don't even have this Kaledio paralyzed so I won't be able to revenge kill it that easy except when I go into Aito now, Aito is extremely fast. Like, I have it with max speed, and so it'll make sure that it can outrun anything that's not Choice Scarf. And so, the Head Smash comes in, mean, the Head, the Iron Head comes in, takes out Kaledio. Now, he goes into his Hydreigon now, and I know he would have the Fire Blast and the Choice Scarf. So, I go into Rhydon to switch into the Fire Blast, and to absorb it quite well, even though it's not a special wall, it absorbs the Fire Blast really well, because it's not Stab, and it's, you know, just in general resisted, and with the Evo Light. And he has his Snorlax out here now. And I go straight for the Mega Horn. I know Snorlax has really good special, but its regular defense isn't all that good. So the Mega Horn does a massive amount of damage, especially considering that it's not a stab Mega Horn. But I go right for the stab Earthquake, and um, let's just see how much damage this does to the Snorlax, because I think I remember it killing it, but no. Anyways, he goes for the Toxic now, which it was, I guess was a good move because it would limit the amount of turns I stay in. You know, I don't have any resistance to it, so I mean, I guess it was a smart move. However, I make sure that I take out something here. And so he goes out of his Snorlax, because I guess he wants to save him for something else. He goes right into his Salamence, because I suppose he would absorb the Earthquake and then be able to KO me with the move afterwards. So um, the Earthquake misses totally, because of course he's a flying type. And the Intimidate takes my attack down, and he goes for the Dragon Claw. So now at North situations, he would be like, okay, right on's done, right? Ice Punch right to the Salamence's face with the Intimidate. This Ice Punch is able to KO Oh, Salamence, no problems whatsoever. Even I was surprised behind this, because it's like the Intimidate on me. Like, wouldn't that finish me in that regard? But nope, I was able to survive, and luckily Rhydon did a lot of work there. So, Rhydon, my hat, my, my fucking high top is off to you. But anyways, he goes into his um, Hydreigon, and I go into my Nidoqueen, who has really, really good defenses. And so, I'm able to sponge the Draco Meteor quite well, and I go straight for an Ice Beam. And luckily, the Ice Beam will be able to take out Hydreigon, so Nidoqueen really did a good job in that regard from living the Draco Meteor, because I wasn't sure if it would be able to or not, because I only have defense EVs in it. I don't have special defense EVs. But um, he goes into his Latias, and now I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll take this Latias out, no problem. Ice Beam. And yet, the Latias has really, really good special defense, so it doesn't kill it, and he just follows up with the Surf and takes my Nidoqueen out of here. So sadly, Nidoqueen goes down. However, I have one Pokemon left. That Pokemon is my beautiful Aito. I'm thinking about making Aito the mascot, just for the work that it puts in at this end of the match. Like, first off, the Iron Head comes in. Even though I have the Hustle Accuracy um, drop, I'm still able to hit the um, Latias with the Iron Head. And finally, to wrap it up, 
iron head right to the Snorlax in that big belly and take it out totally. So um, that was a really good match, SCP-99. Like I said, I only had one Pokemon left, and he had two left, and I, I pulled through luckily at the end thanks to the paralyzation of certain threats on his team. But um, yeah, that, that's basically how my team works. We paralyze Pokemon with Gyarados and, um, and Superior, and then the other guys who are slower but really powerful come in and clean up. So that was a really, really grand battle. I enjoyed myself greatly. By Elizard one thank you for having me host on your channel. I mean, I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you guys like my material, and if you do, come on by to the Etika World Network, man. And feel free to check out the videos and let me know if you like them or not. I'm here to entertain the community at the end of the day. So, I mean, if you guys really like the content like that, then as long as you like it, I'm happy. You know, you don't have to subscribe. You don't have to like my videos. You don't You don't have to do anything. I, all, I, all I care about is that you like the content that I put out there. I mean, if you don't like it, then I can improve on it. But whatever the case may be, I am Etika from the Etika World Network. Thank you by Elizard1. And if you guys like me, come and take a look by my channel. I'll see you guys later. Take care.